Hey, don't freak out. It's just me. Can I... Can I set? Thanks. So, this day's been a little awkward, hasn't it? Yeah, she told me everything. Hey, no, it's okay. I I get it if you don't want to talk about it right away. Breakups are hard, and they can be messy. Uh, then add a group camping trip to that equation, and it just adds an entire layer of messiness. Look, I know she's my best friend and everything, but to be honest, we've kind of been drifting apart lately. That's kind of why she organized this whole camping trip thing. But I guess that's kind of fallen to the wayside, huh? You don't have to say yes if it would make you uncomfortable, but I know you guys were obviously going to share a tent for the next two nights, and everyone else is already kind of paired up. But since you're broken up now, that might be a little awkward, so if you want, you can sleep with me and mine. Well, not sleep with me in my tent, but next to me. But like a good distance away from me. Only if you want, though. Hey, you were never just my friend's boyfriend. You're my friend, too. And I'm just trying to be a good one right now. Well, what's worse, sharing a tent with your ex after a fresh breakup, or getting a good night's rest in her best friend's tent? See, when I put it that way, I think we know what the obvious choice is here. Um, okay, well, you can think it over and let me know what you decide. It seems like everyone's starting the fire, and those s'mores are calling my name. Do you want to come join us, or are you just not feeling up to it? Understandable. And hey, just so you know, you can come join us anytime you want. There will be a seat waiting for you next to me. Hey, look who decided to finally join us. Come, come sit next to me. We were just about to tell ghost stories. And by we, I mean the rest of them, because I can't stand scary stuff. I will gladly just sit here and make the s'mores all night. Thank you very much. Do you want one? It's on the house. <laughs> oh yeah, just for you. Here you go. So, what do you think? Well, the secret to a good s'more is to have just the perfect chocolate to marshmallow ratio. Oh, yeah, I take my s'more making duties very seriously. I would even argue that a good s'more compared to just an okay one can make or break a camping trip. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. <sighs> okay, okay, you guys got me. Looks like I'm the first one to go to bed. Yeah, yeah, whatever, I lost. Mm, I just need some sleep after all that hiking somebody made us do today. Good night, everyone. Um, you can come in the tent whenever you want. I can't believe we're actually going to share a tent together. But that's all this is. 
just sharing a tent. I'm just being a good friend, right? Like, this is the kind of thing that a friend would do for another friend. Right? God, what am I thinking? I'm so in over my head with this. Like, they just broke up. The body's not even cold yet, and here I am trying to be the shoulder to cry on. But I can't help how I feel. I didn't choose to feel this way about him. I've waited for this opportunity for too long. And it's not like me and her weren't starting to drift apart anyway, so... I'm technically not a boyfriend stealer. I... Okay, I'm clearly overthinking this. I just need to calm down. And he comes in here. Just act normal. He'll take one side of the tent and I'll take the other. No physical contact has to happen. Even though I want it to happen. So, so badly. Okay, just... Oh, hey you. I hope you didn't get lost on the way here. <laughs> yes, well, welcome to my humble abode. It's a studio, but it's perfect for two. There's no running water, no kitchen, and definitely no in-unit laundry. All we have is... This tiny lamp, but... You know, I think it really ties the place together. Yeah, I've actually been thinking about painting the walls a different color. Or perhaps I could go with something more vintage, like wallpaper. I'll talk to my contractor in the morning. So did you guys finish telling your ghost stories? I just, I hate scary stuff. Oh, definitely not a fan of horror movies. Because I feel like they're too realistic nowadays, and that freaks me out. <sighs> the only way you could get me to watch a horror movie is to make me laugh throughout it. Yeah, like make fun of the movie as we're watching it to make it less scary. I'm not a baby. <laughs> I just don't like being scared. Oh yeah, I need a big strong man to protect me. Okay, what is that you? Just shut up and get in your sleeping bag. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, you can ask me anything. Did she ever mention breaking up with you to me? Um, well, she is still kind of my friend, and I feel like it's not my place to say. Okay, she did start to mention it about a few weeks ago. Well, from what she told me, she said she just wasn't feeling it anymore like the connection between you guys. She said something about the spark being gone. But to her credit, she did try. She gave it a couple more weeks. But trust me, it has more to do with her than it has to do with you. You're a great guy, and you were such a good boyfriend to her. Do you know how many girls would kill to be with a guy like you? Oh, please, like you didn't already know that. And I know it must be hard to discuss this stuff with me, but... Thanks for being able to trust me enough to tell me. It really means a lot. Oh, uh, oh, okay, now we're, we're hugging. <laughs> What's the hug for? Just for listening. Well, I'm always here for you. 
I know this camping trip was supposed to be fun and carefree, but sometimes life has a funny way of throwing us curveballs. It's okay to feel upset right now. A breakup is a big deal, and it's normal to feel a lot of things, but I'm here for you. And so are the rest of us. Okay, now's the perfect time to tell him how you feel. You might never get this chance again. Stop being a chicken and just spit it out already. I know this might come as a surprise, and may sound like it's coming out of nowhere, but... I have to be honest with you. I've had feelings for you for a while now. And I can't keep putting off telling you anymore. I know that you guys just broke up and I would never want to do anything to hurt you or her. I don't know what you're thinking right now, but I understand if you need some time to process. I just wanted to be upfront with you and let you know how I feel. This is a complicated situation, and I don't want to make things awkward or uncomfortable for anyone. But at the same time, I can't help the way I feel. I've tried to ignore it, but it just keeps coming up. And if I'm being even more honest, I had feelings for you, even when you were with her. But I ignored them, because I knew it was wrong. And it just sucks that you happen to be the guy I fell for. I just see in you all the things that she took for granted. She really didn't realize how lucky she was to have you. But I get it if this is all too overwhelming. I mean, your ex-girlfriend's best friend just confessed her feelings to you not even 24 hours after your breakup. Yeah, it's... a lot. But I just felt that if I didn't tell you now, I would never have the courage to down the line. And I couldn't risk not telling you. And I also understand that if you want to just cut me off completely now because this whole thing is just totally oh I wasn't expecting that no no don't don't get me wrong I liked it but I also don't want to be your rebound girl if you really have feelings for me too, maybe it would be best for us to wait it out for a little while before we jump right into things. I mean, you have things to sort out, and I don't mind waiting a little longer. It's just bad timing right now. Okay, thank you. And I hope that we can still be friends, no matter what happens. I value our friendship more than anything, and I don't want to lose that. Yeah, don't worry. You won't lose me either. Okay, we should probably get some sleep now. Yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Good night.